Here's the standard form for a quadratic function. Did you know that we can use a quadratic function to figure out the x-intercepts? The x-intercepts are the place where the parabola is going to intercept the x-axis when we graph the function. Remember parabolas? A parabola is a u-shaped form that when we graph a quadratic function, the result of it is a parabola open facing or downward facing on the coordinate grid and the x-intercepts are the two places where that parabola is going to intercept the x-axis. Let's look at how to figure out the x-intercepts of a quadratic function. Let's say we have this function x squared plus 4x minus 12 and we want to figure out the x-intercepts for this quadratic function. The first thing we're going to do is factor it. We're going to factor it into two binomials. x squared becomes x times x. And now we want two values that multiply together to give us negative 12, but add together to give us positive 4. Let's think about 6 and 2. 6 times 2 will give us 12. If we make the 6 positive and the 2 negative, then 6 plus negative 2 will give us a positive 4. Let's substitute that into these two binomials. We can put plus 6 minus 2. Now we have x plus 6 times x minus 2. And we're going to break these apart into two separate equations. We're going to make this x plus 6 equals 0. And we're going to make this x minus 2 equals 0. Now we're going to solve for x. We subtract 6 from both sides. And we have x equals negative 6. And we add 2 to both sides here and we have x equals 2. The x-intercepts are negative 6 and 2. What if we go back to the original quadratic function? Can you figure out the vertex? Take a look. We have x squared plus 4x minus 12. And we want to figure out the vertex of the parabola. How do we do that? Well, the vertex x is equal to negative b times 2 divided by 2a. So if we do that, we're going to substitute the values in here and find the vertex. Where does the b and the a come from? Well, it come from, comes from the original quadratic function a is here, b is here, and c is here. So in this quadratic function, a is equal to 1. So we have 2 times 1. b is equal to 4. So you have negative 4. Now, if I do the division, I have negative 4 divided by 2 and I have negative 2. So the vertex of this parabola would be negative 2.